Hey guys, so I'm gonna do a brushing video. Everybody keeps asking about grooming actual videos. So this is gonna be your home grooming. This is Olivia. So a little bit about her. She is 10 year old Bichon. She's extremely sensitive. So she may, um, I'm outside you guys. She may bark um, or scream when I'm brushing her. I thought she'd be perfect for this video because most of your dogs are not gonna cooperate. And um, she has, She's your typical dog that's not gonna cooperate when it comes to brushing. So you're gonna need a slicker brush. This is a medium with long teeth. And hopefully you guys all have slip, slicker brushes, especially for a curly coat breed. If you have a dog with straight hair, you can use a pin brush that has the straight needles um, that come out. But um, any of your fur and your curly hair breeds, you need a slicker. And they don't have to be this long for fur. Um, this is for long hair and curly hair. They come in three different styles. They have a medium, meaning the flex. They have a soft, which is really flexible. And then they have a hard, which is for your matted dogs, um, thick coated dogs, and those ones will barely move. You'll need a comb for line combing. A metal comb is preferred, but if you only have a plastic comb, that's okay. Um, you don't want the teeth too close together. For a dog with thick coat, you want them further apart. For a curly and poodle coat, you can even have them even more for, further for a thicker coated dog. And then we're gonna need some sort of spray. You don't wanna brush a dry coat on any hair breed. So a dog that has hair is curly coated breeds, dogs with straight hair, long hair, dogs that need to be groomed pretty much, that needs to be clipped, dogs that continually to grow. So I have a silk detangler and an ice on ice um, brushing spray, but you can use, if you don't have any, you can get a spray bottle, empty it out, put your leave in or a conditioner in the bottom, fill it up with water and shake it don't leave it in there. Once you use it once, you pretty much have to toss it if you're using a conditioner because the conditioner will go bad mixed with water. So hopefully that helps. Um, so what we're gonna do, cause she's a mess and preferably you wanna wash them and dry them first. You don't really wanna brush a dirty dog cause it does tear their coat, but this is what we're gonna do today for you guys. So any of the hair that's on the body is actually your least important hair to brush. The important spots are under the armpits, inside the legs, underneath the tail and the tail. Any long hairs, so like a Bichon, all this crust, crest, the behind the ears and the cheeks and all of the chest and where you have the collar. Then the legs, the bottom of the legs, and then lastly, the actual body coat. If your dog's sensitive to brushing, start on the body, but preferably we wanna start on the hard to get areas. So if your dog's sensitive like this one, we're gonna spray before you brush. You want the hair to have, be, have um, humidity inside of it. It will loosen um, the static and it'll make it easier for the brush to go through. So. We're gonna start on her body because she's a sensitive dog. You don't wanna soak it, but you want it to be, have some uh, dampness to it. And we're gonna start brushing up towards her neck. Make sure you're going all the way to the skin. And that's why it's good to have a brush that has long, teeth. She does lay down. I know you guys are going to have dogs that squirm. So now that I got the body done, I'm going to go underneath. I'm going to spray her first. I lift her to do her bottom like that 
underneath because it makes her more comfortable. And now we're gonna go to her legs. <laughs> Look at her. She does not like her legs done. So I'm gonna spread her leg. I'm gonna start at the top of the leg, work my way down. I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go all around her leg. I'm doing about one inch. See the brushed out part? I'm doing about one inch. And then I'm gonna go down further. Keeping the hair moist. This will prevent the dog from hurting and it helps detangle. All the way around in a circle. So you make sure you get inside all the way around. See how far I went and see the difference? So now I'm gonna go and do the rest. To me, it's very important to do the brush, the um, detangling spray. Make sure you're getting all the way to the skin. See, I told you she'll yelp over a little knot. And then we're gonna go over it again, all the way around. She must have some between her toes. Make sure you get in between each toe. And you can feel it when it snags. We're gonna mist it again. I'm going to do it one more time, and then I'll comb it. Okay. Told you she hates her. She's like all you guys' dogs. So now we're going to take the comb from the top. We're going to go around and comb all the hair up to see if we got all the knots out. You can feel a snag. You can feel it right there. So we're gonna try to go through it slower till we get the knot out. So you can see the difference of them being brushed out now. See the difference? So that's combed out and brushed out. We gotta do that with all four legs. Then we're gonna do the tail, the head, and the face and ears. Turn her around, grab your spray, and do the rest. <laughs> 